a turned out foot, a torso curving away from the window, one hip higher than the other? These clues help answer the questions, what's behind the pain, what's behind the stress, and what can prevent injury? More clues are found once the client's on the table. Notice the S curves as you go down his back. Let's get started. I can explore the tissue of the lower back with one hand while rocking the body back and forth with the other. Our bodies are three-dimensional, and deep tissue techniques allow us to go beyond the surface of this hip. Once we've addressed one side of the lumbars, we can move up the spine. Deep tissue is about slow, steady movement. This allows the tissue to relax, and the relaxation allows my arm to move forward. I'm mindful to keep the weight of my arm on his muscles and tissue, not on the vertebra. As I move into his upper back, it gives me an opportunity to impact his rhomboids and also his traps. From this position, I'm able to lift his scapula or his shoulder blade off his rib cage and open up the front of his chest. While I'm here, I might as well work on his rear deltoids. Notice how the rocking impacts his entire shoulder girdle. Even if you're focusing in on one muscle or one muscle group, you can impact others. This is one of my favorite ways of opening up the chest. It stretches out the pectoral and lets the shoulder float back where it ought to be. From driving to typing on the computer to slouching on the couch, we tend to round our shoulders forward. This collapsing of the chest can cause all kinds of problems. After finishing one side, let's see how we did. Wow, you can really tell the difference. One side is much more relaxed while the other sits high and tight. Let's balance them out and work on the other side. We can start to see the client do some work. To get the most out of your massage, make sure you take deep, long, relaxing breaths. I like to get the most out of every massage stroke, so when I reach the end of the spine, I change directions and go down to the side. The body likes feeling three-dimensional, so as I finish this stroke, I glide my hand back over his back to connect his head. Oftentimes, our shoulders start floating up towards our ears. Tension in the trapezius and levator scapula can often cause neck pain and even headaches. People will often point to the top of their shoulder blade and say, it hurts right here. Levator scapula runs from the base of the skull to the top of the shoulder blade. You get quite aggravated. Notice how I'm using my whole hand, not just my fingertips, to grab the belly of the muscle and work the tissue. This feels a lot more satisfying. So, how did we do? His tissues are much more relaxed and his spine is clearly straighter. Schedule your next massage with Jason Howell at selfbookit.com.